suitcases that can only mean one thing. We're going to Florida, baby. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> so we've got this to look forward to. Have you got so have the we passports? Got passports, yes. Got passports. Have you got money? Money is yes. Got money. Got sunnies. Got tickets. Tickets, yes. They're in here. Got a camera. <laughs> right. Cue the music. And traffic. Who thought it was a good idea to travel on a Friday? And I think it's probably a good opportunity to let you guys know that we're not actually doing Gatwick this time. We're going from Manchester. There's a red and blue up there. Ah, yes, and here's the walkway. I saw this on the website. Yes, so we just need to find out where to drop off. Well, there's a car, there's all cars down there, so I'm hoping we can grab a space just to drop the stuff off. Right, reception, can we go in here? Patrons only pay at machine or by a phone. Wow, I like the, the weird tunnelly tube. Home for 10 minutes. What? Are you joking? For a 10 minute drop off? Okay, so we've kind of jumped a little bit. We've been to the hotel, we've dropped our bags off at the Radisson Blue, and then we've quickly come down and, I need to poke you in the face, sorry. And then we've, the <laughs> then we've quickly come down and we've uh, just dropped the car off. For a top tip, always write down your number. So when you stay at any car park of, certainly of this size, just write down your number and take a picture of it on your phone. <laughs> And that is how close you are to the airplanes taking off and landing. So we've just grabbed an Uber over to the airport by Robinson's pub. And it looks quite swanky. But, oh, look at this. Ooh. <gasps> ribbies. Ribbies, ribbies, ribbies. Wow. I don't know if it's in focus, but... The Buffalo chicken wings. Bucket for a £10. The naked burger. Naked. <laughs> it's got a pair of... Burgers mm -hmm. without a bun. Ooh. Oh. Cheeky change of plan we are back at the Radisson Hotel there's um, a little bit of a problem we got to the pub and we went up to the bar and they said we have stopped serving so they stopped serving at quarter to nine and it was 9.54 so a bit of a shame anyway so we grab a quick pint and we've got an Uber back, Uber back here but I did want to show you something so here is the entrance of Radisson Blue and when we came in we are greeted by a number of parking restrictions and if you can see up there, just for 10 minutes parking here is four pounds. 30 minutes was six pounds. So I was a bit worried that when we was gonna check in that where do we leave our car? Because all we wanted to do was drop off our suitcases. We did leave our car behind and went up to the third floor to check in and they were absolutely fine with it. Just enter your registration into the terminal and they allow you 30 minutes to drop your car off. So this is level three, level three. And on the left hand side, we've already clocked and had cookies. Can you believe they've had apples there and we didn't even see the apples, we just were like, oh, cookies. Cookies. Oh, what are custom. these ones? Are these like custom cookies or something? Hard oh, they're hard, sweets. I don't do hard sweets. And you've got complimentary lemon water here as well. Please post your key card upon checkout, thank you. Oh, cool, you can enter your... Like a real old school post box. Post box. Oh look, and they've got like arrivals and departure boards. 
that's cool. So Always we can check out, so make sure there's no delays in the morning. So we have a much happier Lely because we found food. <laughs> so we're now at the college, isn't it? Yes. College it's very, it's really nice in here. I love all the lighting around the edge. They're all like little like enclosed round table areas. We're in a little booth at the moment. I like the lampshades as well. The lampshades look like they've been crocheted. <laughs> Oh, these ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do, do They actually look like, no, they're cardboard. The cardboard circles cut out and glued together. Oh, God. Yeah. So here's a quick look at the college menu. And I did have to look at that twice. I thought that was a 100-ounce sirloin steak. But... It'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Would be nice. It's a little bit on the sort of higher end price margin, but... I might have a burger. Our food has arrived and this is my lamb rump with um, potato and a uh, tomato jus with some veggies underneath it, medium. And Wills has gone for his traditional burger. And what, I'm catching you munching it before I get to show the peeps what you've got. Look at this. Oh, a little cute mayo. Do you remember when we got the tiny little mayos and the tiny little ketchups when we did uh, Hollywood Studios? Not um, Hollywood Universal Studios, didn't we? We did a, a little VIP tour and they gave us little tiddly ones like that. But is it nice? The best. What's your burger look like? Um. So you've gone for no cheese and then it's full of salad and some bacon on top. Any chips nice? Chips are chips. <laughs> Bon appetito! Oh, and an uh, amaretto. We've both got amaretto. Cheers! Hi, yeah. So we just thought we'd um, give you a bit of a room tour. Um, we're staying at the Radisson, <laughs> the Radisson Blue Hotel, um, which is situated right next to Manchester Airport. Uh, we've already started tucking into what we thought was free sweets, but uh, since found out that no, it's part of the mini bar and We've just eaten four pounds fifties worth of uh, chocolate almonds, but they are delicious. This is sort of like the feeding station. Um, so we've got like coffee machine, water, uh, wine glasses down here. There's like a tray of goodies. So there's like coffee pods and biscuits and you know, the usual stuff. Here's the, here's the, well, what's remaining of these, which is the, um, the almonds. There's only a couple left in the pot. Uh, but they are really nice. Worth the £4.50. This is uh, our bathroom. Nice sink, um, WC and big old shower and, and bath. And some nice bubble bathy things. And then this is our wardrobe. So you've got your safe, um, hanging facilities, extra towels, bathrobes, I think they might be actually and then your ironing board um trouser press does anyone actually use a trouser press anymore I'm not <laughs> sure but you know this is our humongous bed well just chuck yourself on that bed just to kind of give a <gasps> look how huge it is there's so much room like starfish we could both starfish we could both starfish we could top and tail on starfish all right this is uh this is will sleeping <laughs> pretending to sleep um but you also get things like complimentary water well we hope it's complimentary only if you remember pretty sure oh fine your phone keeps ringing it's weird but it's a number we don't know and then a little desk um a poof comfy chair a little picture of a kid with a aeroplane and then um we have got quite a nice view not that you'd be able to see it can see me um but the planes are coming over here somewhere the aeroplanes are sort of coming in so that is pretty much it from us today but stay tuned because tomorrow morning when we wake up we're going straight over to the airport and we're flying off to orlando baby yeah oh, baby yes oh rush 
Good morning, guys. Morning. It is 7.25 on the 31st of August, and guess what? We're going to Florida, baby. <coughs> but just before we go, I just want to show you the view outside our front window. So, the reds and blue have got these sort of tunnels going up to the terminals, and I believe this goes to Terminal 1, and I believe that's Terminal 2, because it's got T2 on that sign up there. But we're going to go and walk through one of these tunnels to get to where we need to be to departures. This is our bedroom, it's, it's been great to us. It's a really comfy sleep. The bed is huge and the pillows are super soft. It and is a um, very comfortable bed. Yeah, I slept really well. I had some funny, funny dreams, but I slept well. But let's head over to the airport, baby. Pop it in the post box. Put it in the post box. There we are. Right, let's check departures board. Okay, We're the 9.55. Oh, yeah, but there's nine o'clock on there. They're arrivals. That's why. <laughs> oh, hang on. 955 Orlando, Terminal 2, desk 46 to 55. So we're going to go head out here and then we're going to hang a left. So, yeah, we've literally just come through that door there, and Straight to your in. right will be Terminals 1 and 3, and then on the other side will be Terminal 2. Where does it feel like we are? City walk, like going to City <laughs> walk to like Orlando, um, Universal. So we're now, well, not sort of bagless, but we're now just Practical down to cabin bags. Bagless. <laughs> so yeah, bags and have been dropped. We've just been over and checked in at Virgin Atlantic, although we did check in online, but we dropped the bags off. But they're hat, hat, hat on. On the weights. Yes. On the weights of your cases. So we did have to distribute a bit of weight across three of our bags. We were going to try and put a case inside of a case, um, but it was. Rush it, Russian dolls. Hmm? The Russian doll situation. Yeah. But it was over by three kilos, so we had to distribute it. So, yeah, just try and be careful with that. I don't know if that's a consistent thing, if everyone's hot on it. Here, well, but we... we found that a Gatwick, they've. At Gatwick, they've allowed us to to go over and combine the weights. Yeah. So let's, now, let's get moved through the airport. Yes, we're going to head over to the departure gates upstairs. We've just arrived at the gate, and it's literally like board, board, board. Yeah, normally we're like sit around for a half hour before I'm really. That's it. We've got our passports at the ready, and let's go. Run the pain. It's been like a mad <laughs> rush, but we're on the plane. And we've got our complimentary bubbly. A bit of bubble. And Prosecco. Here's our view at the minute. That's the uh, boarding tunnel there. <laughs> Premium economy is pretty full. <coughs> But there are a hundred spare seats in economy. So apparently a lot of people have rebooked due to Hurricane Dorian. They are just reversing the loading bridge back. Just look at that view, we're above the clouds, it's super sunny, awesome. But, here is the Virgin Atlantic menu for today, premium economy menu, and a bit of an introduction on the left hand side, but this is what I'm interested in. Let's see. So, main course, you have three options, you've got stir fried pork, chicken and mushroom casserole, and the asparagus and ricotta gnocchi. So we've got a chicken and mushroom casserole, right? Yeah? Yeah, with new potatoes and vegetables. And then a Cajun style uh, pasta salad with, uh, I think it says it's a passion fruit slice. slice. Cheese and crackers. Red roll. And look at that awesome. Oh, I love that stuff, so nice. Wow. We've got everything the same apart from
So we have our bags. We are in the, well, I suppose the departure lounge now, isn't it? Just before you go through security. So it's not departure lounge, we're just at the bit before you go through security and you fly home. And Lily's been a bit poorly. No, I passed out on the flight. So things just like blood pressure and just being a bit tired and dizzy and stuff, and I've passed out. I know. Well, I'll insert picture now. <laughs> and I shouted help because there was nobody around and like was looking for staff. But we'll say Virgin are really good, weren't they? Every yeah. single member of staff were fantastic. They were, all of them were aware of the situation and they were all so lovely. They brought me water and they brought me um, like one of the wash kits that you get in upper class. Upper class and they were just really nice and looked after me really well. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's a good egg. Carrying all the cases for me. Gosh, look at that. Now that's a motor. Wow. I don't think we'll fit much luggage in that, do you? I forgot you had to press a button and it opened itself, Wills. high up so it's a little bit different to our traditional mustang we've gone for a ta tahoe yeah chevrolet tahoe sorry <laughs> <laughs> i think you can fit a bit more luggage in this one wills yeah. <laughs> compared so, to the old stang so the reason we've gone for this this time is a we know that we've got hurricane dorian so we know we've got some blood in but also B, we do struggle with the Mustang. We fancy something a bit bigger. We're going to be heading out to Clearwater. We're hopefully heading out to Clearwater. And this will be a bit more of a comfortable drive, I think. Yeah, we, we always go for a, a, a soft top, but we barely ever have the roof down because it's so blistering hot. Uh, and obviously it messes up my hair. <laughs> so yeah, we're going for this. Press the button. Let's go and have a little look around this. Where's the push button? Uh, it's key, babe. Key. Surely not. That's why she said, I will go get you the key. Smart. <laughs> Old school. Don't often get a key anymore. Oh, do you, do you remember? I'm actually stripping <laughs> Do you remember when I drove it? When yeah. we was in California? And I you got do. that footage of me just rolling past and then, and then I wouldn't stop for you, just kept driving off. <laughs> How could I forget? I know. Right, there is a way that you can open this up and I'm sure you can plug your phone in and get your display up on here. So, I could be wrong. I'm going to work it out. So, menu. This is my cab. It's got 30,000 on the clock, which is it's quite high for an Alamo car. Uh, it's got more buttons than I could care to think of at the minute. And look at this, it's even got like a, a, a handbrake on the a foot like pedal the handbrake. Gear shift. Like, gear shift. I remember yeah. having to try to. Do you remember know I got out of the car and I didn't even put it in? Like, I think, did I put it in park? And then I didn't switch the engine off, just got out of the car. Yeah, it just left it in. I was it. so, like, disorientated trying to drive it. I was like, there we go. I've done my bit of driving for the whole holiday. I don't need to drive it anymore. I drove it round to this car park. Just got out and was like, you've left it running. Oh, have I? The last Tahoe we had, had a middle seat in the back because you laid across it ill, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. What? Oh, is, it, is that the car plate? Yeah, yes. brilliant. This is God, but for some reason I've got no data. Focus. Oh, size FUVs. You can have a GMC and this in. You can have a Ford Expedition. There's another Tahoe down here. There's two USBs in here. There's a 12 volt charging socket here. And laser room. And in here, you've got the two 
USBs. But I'm sure there's a way that this opens up. I'm going to work it out. It's raining. Oh my god, we just got here and it's raining. Right, I'm going to work it At out. At least still sunny though. We're just queuing up, ready to present our documents and our rental agreement and driving license and credit card to this sort of exit booth. And Les comes along and she's like, I found out exactly how to get the screen to go up. Just demonstrate, Les. Fancy. <laughs> so the idea is, I believe, that you can put your phone charger in there, or you, you plug the USB into there. And then you can put your phone in there so you can't get distracted by your phone. And obviously you're leaving everything be in there. And then it's you can't be distracted. As well, just to hide stuff in. Yeah, we've got our... We're not putting anything in there. Right. what will happen is we'll leave it in there. We'll forget about it. <laughs> Whoops. And there's, uh, where's the passport? Uh, still in the car. Yeah. I wonder how many times people leave stuff in there. Well, I wonder if people even know it's there. It's like a secret compartment. Wow. This is it. In we go. Uh, uh, oh gosh. It's ever so bouncy, this car. It's so high up. We got balcony, Not used we? to it. We've got a balcony, in not we? No, not that we'll be able to use it much. Should we drop our bags off here first? I don't know. Is this definitely the point? Because I've not actually seen a sign to say it is. <laughs> See your bag. <laughs> oh, that's mental. No, neither mine. We have made it to the room. And poor Lelly is feeling a little bit better now. Is she in there? There she is. Yeah, feeling a little bit better now. She's got some crippies inside her and a wee Diet Coke. And. Look at me, Lays. <laughs> Lays. And you're feeling a bit better, aren't you? Mm. So, without further ado. I'll show you this amazing suite. Yeah, yeah, like it's re very reasonably priced. Um, can we just say trip bags, we highly recommend them. Every bag that we've got this time, except for that, that's my work bag. So every bag is trip. They're really good quality, reasonably priced. You can buy them from the trip.com website, or you can also go to Debenhams. So this is the entrance hall. That, that's the front door here. Um, and this is sort of the entrance area. You can sit down, two seat, a like sofa. Lounge. 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 diner, come kitchenette. <laughs> so we've got a flat screen TV up there. We've got a table round here this is the kitchen and it's quite well equipped i won't bore you with all the ins and outs but you've got a toaster coffee machine blenders sink you've also got a washer and dryer in here fridge freezer cooker microwave and a cupboards stacked with loads of knives forks let's get you into the bedroom bedroom is on the left and we've got a super huge bed which we're really pleased about so we can both starfish um there's a window looking outside, we've got some storage areas. So coming around the other side of the room, we've got a safe ironing board in there and somewhere to hang up our clothes and only a few hangers. This door here, which is the same as this door, comes through into a jacuzzi bath. It's got lots of bubbles and a shower. Hey, wakey wakey. <laughs> yeah, I went and had a little sleep because I was feeling rough. Um, so feeling loads better now um, and Wills is going to take me to get some food at Chick-fil-A. We've been so excited about going to Chick-fil-A. So we're going to have Chick-fil-A for our tea and then we're going to go over to Walmart and just get some supplies ready for this horrible hurricane that's going to be hitting us in a couple of days time. So we've just been told to stock up on our water supply and snacks. We've got a whole kitchenette at that place, so I could I could make spaghetti bolognese. What? I'm not, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I could make salad. What? Not going to. Um, but yeah, uh, just going to get some supplies in to make it a bit more easier and comfortable. Come I on, think baby. I think it's going to be like Lay's crisps that we've got to get in, and we've got to get in like near of every single flavour of M&M. It's like a must. Um. So yeah, we'll. Uh, Next, see you in a minute eating Chick fil A. 
our favorite is just the best takeout in Florida in the US that's my opinion my life is complete I know I feel so happy <laughs> we have been looking forward to this we've got the chick-fil-a fries which in the UK crisscross chips <sighs> call them what you will and then just a deluxe burger with Montreal Jack cheese was it yeah and I've gone for a large fries with deluxe with no cheese because I can't have cheese well and we've got like three loads of sauces as well zesty buffalo chick-fil-a and honey mustard the honey mustard is my favorite but you like is it the chick-fil-a or the buffalo you like I think it's the buffalo you like I like buffalo yeah I love buffalo but I also really like the chick-fil-a and I also really like the honey mustard so to be honest all three of these are it. absolutely spot on really cool right we're gonna tuck into this so we're back in the motor we're stuffed with chick-fil-a I couldn't even finish it all um, and we're now heading over to the character warehouse to pick up some bargains before we go to Walmart to get our supplies I'm so excited Oh rush. <laughs> You're happy? Yeah. So it is now quarter past eight in the afternoon. I don't expect I don't expect there to be much stock left on the shelves. They're usually pretty empty this time of night. Is that a very U T shirt? It's really cute. I like the little pocket and the wish on it. Twelve ninety nine. Quite thin, isn't it? It feels nice, though. It feels nice, yeah. It's like a breathable top. Yeah, it's a bit stretchy. You like these patches? Yeah, really like them. These are one ninety nine each, and these ones are four forty nine. Yeah. But the... Best day ever. Focus. Best focus. Day ever. Got some mini bows. Love awesome. them. But I absolutely love this. Epcot lanyard, look at that Les. Wow, that is lovely. I like that. It's awesome. Well, I don't know how much this one is. This is saying 13 99 but I don't know if it's actually 99 cents. And they are actually 99 cents each. I'm definitely going to get one. So next door to the Epcot lanyards is some Pirates of the Caribbean themed ones. But these ones are five ninety nine. And these are hidden Mickey's. What is this, Lou? Um, you put a candle in it, and then I think her silhouette glows through. Oh really? Well, so it does. Yeah. What an afternoon shopping! So, brought some Disney bits, and then was like, hey. There's a bath and body workshop, so we went in there and brought some hand sanitizers and also yeah. some other little bits. Hand cream. So we must get across to Walmart now. Yeah. Uh, it's half nine, well, quarter to ten, so we must go over there and try and get some... Supplies, because we just spoke to a couple in Bath and Body Works and they said that it's been on the news that all the shops are empty of like water and cans and food and... So this could be interesting. As long as I've got sugar cookies, I'm happy. Yes. And Bud Light Platinum. Yes. And M&M's. Mmm, <laughs> Maccas. Nope. We've had a Chick-fil-A. Walmart only. I know why there's a smile on your face. Sugar cookies. Although I didn't want that many. I did. Oh, did you? <laughs> Lactose free, baby. Uh, you want 1%? Zero percent. Well, that's a two percent equivalent of green milk, isn't it? That means right. you have green at home. So, yeah. Two so we're back at the hotel now, and I'm going to show you some of the goodies that we've just brought. So we've got our Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. We've got our sugar cookies, a massive bag of M&M's caramel. We've got small cereal, bananas, um, peanut butter M&M's. Apparently these are only a couple of bucks, so there's loads of chewing gum, marshmallows, and a nice selection of crisps. What are your favourite crisps from Florida? Mine are definitely Cheetos, but I do love the Fritos as well. Let us know in the comments down below. And in the fridge we've got some milk, Chick-fil-A sauces, 
some plenty of drinks and also Bud Light. So here's our bits that we got from the Bath and Body Works today at the premium outlets. So you get five hand sanitizers for six dollars. We have warm vanilla sugar, pumpkin donut, marshmallow pumpkin latte, perfect pumpkin, it's a halloween -y one, and ghoul friends, another halloween -y one. Plus I bought some uh, hand cream as well. Sheer butter hand cream, smells so good. So all of that came to about eight dollars. So yeah, I was well chuffed with that. So we want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, if you follow us on Instagram at Will and Lely, Lely's quite active on Instagram. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye.